system that Fred and the rest of the First Alert team were watching brought weather like this tornado to Alabama. Crews still needing to survey the damage left behind after those dark clouds moved onto the ground. It looks like a Hollywood disaster movie. And this brought damage to Georgia as well. Atlanta News First, Tori Cooper spent the day in Troop County where a person was struck by lightning. Tori, what's the latest on that? Well, for right now, we are standing by Rick here at the Atlanta Fire Department in case lightning strikes again in our area. But down in Troop County, crews tell us that the person that was struck by lightning surprisingly didn't have to go to the hospital. It all happened right here on Old Airport Road in LaGrange. Fire crews say they were called out to an apartment complex in the area after receiving reports of a person that was struck by lightning. So far, there's no update on the person's condition, but crews say they did not believe it was serious. But farther south, wow. tornadoes touching down at the Georgia-Alabama state line, ripping off rooftops. My Lord, it come through there and jacked it up. The whole metal building's gone. Tearing down trees. Wow, then it come through there, tore all them trees up and hit it. Hit it to the right. Well, if you do not have our first alert weather app on your phone right now, this is the perfect time to download it to find out when lightning is going to be striking your area. And anytime you have any severe weather coming your way, this will time it out for you so you can really just plan your night or your day around it. And of course, our team of first alert meteorologists are always providing updates on that app and you can hear directly from them. So it's just an awesome app to have on your phone, especially on days like today. Reporting live in Midtown, Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First.